that um I want y'all to check out. Because I've been telling y'all, and my whole purpose for doing this Young Thug trial is for one reason and one reason only, educational. So you can understand that this is what you face with if you continue to down the road that you're down. And this is what makes it so hard. I know y'all, listen, I know it's complicated. When you hear people out here telling you a lot of truth, but their truth is filled and surrounded by lies and a material lifestyle and a, and a, and a female lifestyle and, and doing this and doing that. I, I understand it can be hard to like separate yourself away from these type of characters. It can be hard to separate, your, separate yourself from the Young Thugs, the Andrew Tates, the, um, the Meat Mills, the 50 Cents, the Jay-Zs, the Tupacs, the Big. I know it can be hard, man, because you like... You know, like the Dr. Martin Luther King. It can be hard to separate yourself from, from what you know because you can look and say, man, this dude is speaking a lot of truth. And then, but, but you don't know all of the shit that they're doing in front of your face to make you chase something else, even though they speaking truth. Speaking is one thing. But then if I show you my visuals, so if I say I'm a good guy, and I say I'm, I'm, I'm for the people, but my actions shows you something else. Then does that say anything? And I think a lot of us, you know, even when it comes, that's why I be saying for the Charleston Whites, the Hassan Campbells, these guys got amazing messages. But when we look at their actions, we be like, bro, what's up? That's what I want y'all to understand. So once again, the reason we cover these young thug trials, man, because I want you to see this is what you face with, bro. I want you to separate yourself from these characters, these celebrities, and look at what you're faced with in real life because young thugs and these people, bro, are you seeing how many chances they getting? Are y'all seeing what's going on? Are you, are you seeing some people are being, some people are out here that actually committed murders and attempted murders getting time served and getting put on probation that's not gonna happen for you that's what i really want you to understand what's going on in this trial would not happen for you regular person you regular civilian you regular young lady you regular boy that's not gonna happen for you so that's what i really want y'all to take from these trials man what we're witnesses what we're witness with the young thug case and everybody that's surrounding him will witness miracles. I really want you to hear what I just said. This is a miracle we are watching. We're seeing people that are doing some crazy stuff getting put on 12 years probation, 15 years probation. Why would they put you on a 15, 12 year, eight year probation? Because they banking on you fucking up. They don't care about letting you go for right now. Bro, 12, 15, 20 years probation? Oh my goodness, dog. That is not something. That's, bro, do you know half of the people that go into the halfway house? Halfway house is something when you, you're on your transition out of prison. So let's say you, you finish your prison stuff, but now you're going into the transition, uh, what they might call something like a halfway house, aka probation, stuff like that. So you go into this halfway house for like maybe a six months, three months, a year. Bro, probation in a halfway house, trying to abide by those rules, having one foot out, one foot in. You feel me? Like, come on, boy. You better ask how many people that been in the halfway house. A lot of people in the halfway house, they can be in there for a month, two months, three months. Then guess what? Boom, go right back to prison. Bro, them halfway house, them good, hey. He'll be back. Them halfway houses are not something that's so light. So, you know, when I'm saying this, a lot of people go back to jail in a halfway house, period. Then, let's say, okay, you got out the halfway house. Now you got the anchor monitor to where you're on probation at home. Bro, 12 years, 15 years. Come on, dog. You better go look at some of these interviews. You go to talk to some of your family members that did this thing called probation probation is not an easy thing i was on probation i was on probation for um um i got a dui one time i was on probation bro for six months dog oh, this is this is a dui probation this is not a probation on like 
you know, with the anchor monitor, but this is just me driving my vehicle. Bruh. Do you know how hard that was? This is not even the same thing. He said, I was on probation, bro, and you're right. That shit is a trap. Pro hey, thank you. You feel me? See, I'm telling you, y'all. That let y'all know, like, I'm not just up here. When I come and speak on this young thug case, I give information that I have been through, and I got family members right beside me. I got homeboys right beside me that tell me they shit. I'm looking at it. Yeah, nigga, I got to go home. Man, you know I can't go. Man, quit bullshitting. Man, come on, go with us. Man, man, go on, take me home. Quit playing. I got homeboys I'm talking about. I ain't just, I ain't just saying that because I want to sound good. I'm talking about my niggas. We fucking them with them like, nigga, we ain't to make you late. Man, y'all better quit playing, man. Come on, take me on. My homies. And like I said, I was on probation, but I was on a different type of probation. And that shit was tough, man. That shit was, you have to be perfect. How hard is it? You know how hard it is to be perfect for 15 years? My boy said, I did 53 years felony probation. Man, y'all, come on, man. And I got people sitting here that know that see what I'm talking. This is why I tell y'all, man. They let these guys out. Because y'all gotta understand, there is a technology out here. There's science out here that says that they they can calculate you messing up again. This is real. Y'all can go look it up. They have a new technology out here that the court system, the FBI's, um, he said three years. Okay, not 53. You was on three years probation. Okay. The court system, the FBI, the CIA, they, the police, some of the local police, not all, you know, some of the lo po police ain't got that shit. But some of these people have technology that they calculate and they do studies on us. All of us. Now, when I say us, I'm not talking to just black people. Us as humans, they study us and they have calculations to determine if you will commit another crime. And they use these things in the court system. So, what is it to, to do my calculation on this nigga right here and give him 15 years probation? He'll be back. The calculation, they've been doing it for so long, y'all. Believe it or not, they intentionally let some of y'all go because it's more money. It's more money to let you go and lock you back up because we know you. Like, you're going to try to fight the system. You're going to, bro, it's, all this shit is a money game. Everybody get paid. Everybody gonna make some money off of you trying to appeal something. You trying to fight for another probation period. You already know struck struck out three or four times. I got family members been in jail so many times. But we've been talking long enough, man. We've been talking long enough. Let's go ahead and get started with the trial. Now, before we get started with this day six of Jeffrey Williams, I want y'all to look at this. I want y'all to look at this. Check this out, please. Look at this right here. Why is there a game member will testify against Young Thug, others, Young Thug, and others, they didn't put the N on it, and others about murders and shooting? Once again, I do this for educational purpose. Young Thug, I mean, not Young Thug, but a YSL game member will testify against Young Thug and others about murderers and shootings. Do y'all understand? This is what I'm trying to paint. Look at him, he in there with his head down. I'm trying to paint this picture to you as clear as I can. You're never safe. Let me say this, let me say this y'all, and y'all might think I'm wrong. In some cases, it's good not to be in a group. Well y'all, some of y'all agree with me. If you're not working towards building something in this system that we live in, that you and I live in, if you're not working to build something in this system that you and I live in legally, it's best to not be caught in a gang. It's best not to be caught in a group. It's best because somebody in that group, somebody in that gang, at some point, we'll hit you with one of these. Like, come on, y'all. It's 2023. And I, I know I'm going to say that a lot. I'm going to say it a lot because it's a new year. This is the first of the 2023. We four days in of what they call first of the year. 
January. Are you finna go all the way into a new year? We done made it into a new year. And you finna continue to ride this train called The Gang is Solid? How many people? Man, uh-oh. Let me go to my bookmarks. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, dawg. Don't let me down. Now, nah, you've been, you been marking this shit. You've been marking this shit. Come on. There you go. Boy, I've been doing good marking this shit for y'all. I've been marking this shit for y'all. I seen somebody said, man, it broke my heart to know Brody got paperwork on him. I, I, I can't find, I didn't bookmark that one, but I bookmarked this. So many people fascinated by the fact that these guys are really about their raps. They really live they rap. But when they find out that these guys have paperwork that they're cooperating with the police, these people be all over the place they emotionally. How are you telling me you affected? How are you so caught up that you're affected by the fact that another man got paperwork on him for snitching or cooperating with the informants or police? It's 2023 and we still clueless to this rap game? It's 2023. We still thinking that these rappers are really who they say they are. In 2023, I got to say it like that. It's a new year. I got to say it like that. In 2023, we still feeling some type of way to find out that. So many people was in love with this guy for being, I guess, a street nigga. They was in love. Man, that nigga Boston Rich. I've been hearing, I've been hearing his name a lot. You feel me, man? That nigga the truth, right there. That nigga really stand on that shit. That nigga getting that nigga, you know. Uh -uh. But then it come out that he got paperwork, and you know what he did? He posted a picture and said he getting that money. And look what they say: the whole rap game, the whole rap industry, done either ratted or gave a statement to the police, and still got a good career. Bro gonna be all right. Once again, I'm showing you how they get a pass for snitching. So we out here choosing to not snitch to help our community. We choosing to not snitch when we see people violating the community, not actually being a part of the community, trying to help build the community. We don't hide the criminals, but they won't hide nothing. But they get a pass and we don't. Look at how that's what I mean by we give these celebrities power that we can't even have. How do they get to have power that we can't have? And it's just like when I say when celebrities try to stun on us and we the ones that make them rich by supporting their careers. Just, just think about how crazy it is. They get to snitch on each other all day, every day, and still get the bag. Let one of us snitch on each other. Shit. We got to goddamn move out of town. We got to, especially if you see, like I said, if you're not a part of the game life, you've never been in the part of the game life, then you probably don't know what I'm saying. Because I see some people be like, bro, you can tell all the time. And ain't that going to happen. Well, you ain't never been hold to something. Where I'm from, if you was a part of the game and you get caught looking at the police, walking around the police, texting the police, if you dating a female cop, she better be working for the crew. I done messed with a couple female officers in my past. You feel me? Um, If she can't help the crew out, then what you doing dating a cop? See, that's what I'm saying. So it's rules for us civilians. Why the rules don't apply to these celebrities, though? This is what I'm... Why do we give them power that we can't even use as well? We can't be snitches. Um, okay, let me read this. He said, I feel like you can look at it from two different ways. For one, if someone is involved in an illegal activity, that's a friend or whatever, 
He said, and you're not involved, but they choose to involve you in it and choose to snitch. That's not snitching. See, like, we, we're not finna educate people on where snitching is in 2023. In 2023, we're not educating you on where snitching is. If, if you don't know what snitching is by now, then, you know, so I, 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 I would continue to read it, but it's like, we are, like, we know the difference between snitching. So I feel you. If you, snitching is snitching, telling, inf giving information that you, you're you not a part of no illegal activity, your friend just throw you in some shit. Nah, nigga, get the fuck out of here. Nah, nigga, that's not snitching. So, I mean, we, but let's, let's go ahead and get started. I want to play this for y'all right quick. Um, I want to play this for y'all, then we're going to start the trial. All right, we're on the record in the matter of the state of Georgia versus Antonio Sledge in 22 SC 183572. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Wright. Good afternoon, Judge. Good afternoon, Mr. Sledge. Good afternoon, Young. And good afternoon, uh, Councils uh, Love and Hilton. Um, okay, uh, Councils, I understand this is supposed to be a negotiated plea, is that correct? Yes, Judge. All right. Mr. Sledge, can I get you to raise your right hand as much as best you're able? Yes. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the evidence you should give in the matter now in hearing should be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, sir? Be God or so firm? Yes, I do. All right. You put your hand down, sir. All right. Mr. Sledge, over the next several minutes, what's going to happen is we're going to go through uh, such a thing called the Provincy Inquiry. So basically, in our system of jurisprudence, we don't make people... We don't force people to plead guilty. So I have to be assured you understand your constitutional rights and that you freely and voluntarily waive those rights so I can go ahead and sentence you. The second thing it does is, is um, we go through a factual basis and I determine there's a factual basis that the state would have been able to prove in this case beyond a reasonable doubt had they tried the case. So assuming that I find that you understand your rights. We call it the Boykin Inquiry. And then the second thing is, um, then I find that there's a factual basis I can accept your plea. So, Miss, ladies, which one is going to do the plea? I am, Your Honor. All right. Miss Love is uh, going to go and ask you a series of questions in just a minute. And then um, your attorney, Mr. Wright, will follow up with that. And then I'll, answer, I'll ask you a couple of questions, and I should be able to um, sentence you in accordance with the negotiated plea, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Ms. Love, whenever you're ready, madam. Thank you. Mr. Sledge, please state your true, correct, and legal name. Antonio Sledge. And are you to say Antonio Sledge, also known as Moon who is listed in indictment 22SC? One eight three five seven two. Hey, you know something? You know something, bro? I see a lot of people be speaking on this um, biker situation. A lot of people was talking about how the old bikers that had that shootout with the police and all that stuff, how none of them talked. And I think a couple years later, they all got out of jail. Um. So... Check this out, bro. It worked for some and don't work for some. Um, Y'all, we have to start understanding the deep, deeper psychology that comes with this stuff. See, these guys right here, those white boys, white men. They can go, they can, they can actually obtain a life outside of the environment that they participated in. Because you got to understand, a lot of the old guys wasn't just regular men and women. Some of the old guys had good jobs. If you, if you actually follow the story, some of those niggas that committed that shit down in Texas, a lot of them niggas was deep in, even though they was in a game life. They still, them, some of them guys had some good fucking jobs. Y'all appreciate that help. In this situation, you asking a nigga that ain't got nothing, already on paper, already a felon, you saying 
She ain't gonna be different for 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 me. And I'm I'm using me for an example. I'm not saying I would rock out like this, cause I done already been tested in this field of 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 life. I'm poor. I don't have nothing. I already, you know, been in jail. I already done lived this lifestyle. I don't want to go back. Everybody ain't going to keep their mouth closed in this situation. Beast, I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you, Beast. You, when you got poor people, see, it's a different. Y'all got to understand why they need poor people in the world. Who would sign up to do a job that nobody want to do? A poor person. You can't get a person that has a future, has ideas to do the dirty work. Even though in, in, in some cases like that situation in Texas, a lot of those guys had good jobs. When you look at this stuff right here, bro, when you're looking at the gang gang from our environment, most of us are on fel most of us are felonies. Most of us don't have a job. Most of us can't get a job. Like once again, when, when, whenever y'all talk about stuff like this with me, we speak in reality of our life. In the hood, where is the jobs? Where's the jobs in the hood? So if you don't have the jobs in the hood, and if you don't have money to move out of the hood, then you stuck with your circumstances. So therefore, if I can't move out of my environment, and if I can't get a good job in my environment, then what I'm going to do and what I'm going to become. This is why the government creates poor people. See, y'all think poor people just be... Poor people are created. Poor people are willing to snitch quicker than a nigga that got some family members that can put some on it. Bro, you talking about niggas ain't got nobody in their corner. Finna go to jail, nobody in their corner. They done ran away from home. They done told everybody, fuck you, I don't need y'all. And now they sitting in jail. They got to borrow from somebody else or give some ass up to get something. It's a different lifestyle. It is a different case when it comes to poor people. Poor people are willing to snitch no matter what. Poor people will always vote. Man, y'all finna take a strike? Man, I got to get feed my family. We live in a different mindset. Because we're not going to say, everybody, let's go on strike. And let's just feed each other with what we got and outlast this strike. But you see when no Mexican went on strike and they whole motherfucking plant shut down and they had to rehire them. See, it's a different. See, our poor mentality is different from everybody else's poor mentality. I don't know. Did I make any sense, y'all? Please tell me you understood that, Beast, because I responded to your question. And, Hunter, we will do that Waka Flocka interview, too. I seen that. Yes, ma'am. Are you at this time... Okay, my boy said you understood. Okay. ...or under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or That's medication? That's good, Beast. No, ma'am. Is there any medication that you normally take that you have not been given today? No, ma'am. How old are you, and how far have you gone in school? I'm 41, 10th grade. 41 10th grade do you are you understanding that 41 the farthest he went was 10th grade and that's not dissing him because guess what the farthest i went was ninth grade and i'm 30. you see what i'm saying poor people are created due to the environment and the government gonna always keep it like that that's why i get frustrated when people try to come in here and say well they made them choice is it that simple? Is it that simple to say they made them choices? They made them choices. Yeah, y'all made them choices to be drug dealers and gang bangers. And uh, did I really make the choice, or did my environment leave me with only a few options? That's why I get mad when people come in. Man, y'all just be y'all just be choosing that type of lifestyle. Shut up, bro. So, yeah, like I said, for anybody that's watching the background, when you talk in my stream and we go over stuff like this, be careful how you say it because you got to understand. I came from an environment where options were limited. And I'm not making excuses for myself or nobody else, but I'm trying to explain something to you. 41, the farthest he went was ninth grade. I'm 30, the farthest I went was ninth grade. He went 10th grade, I went ninth grade. 
Are you able to read, write, and understand the English language? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you are charged with the following offenses? Yes, ma'am. Conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act. Okay, bitch. Yes, ma'am. Cigar. As well as possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Yes, ma'am. As listed in count 30 of this indictment. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you have the right to plead either guilty or not guilty to these charges and that if you plead not guilty or remain silent, you may receive a jury trial? Yes, ma'am. Have you had any? This is, um, once again, for everybody that's just jumping in, we finna go over the Young Thug trial from day six. We're gonna watch the entire trial, but I wanted y'all to see this right quick before we get started. This is a member that is gonna testify against Young Thug about murderers and shooting. I want y'all to understand that. So I just want y'all to hear this before we get started. This is a guy that was a part of the game that is about to testify against killings and shooting. And I'm and once again, we do this for educational purpose. We're not saying that um uh, and these guys are innocent or nothing like that. This is educational purpose. We're trying to make an appoint to the young fellas out here that involve themselves with the gang gang enough time to speak with your attorney, Mr. Derek Wright, about all of the facts and circumstances known to you regarding the charges in this indictment. Yes, ma'am. Any potential defenses? Yes, ma'am. Do you need more time to discuss this case with no, your ma attorney? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> Are you satisfied with Attention. your services? Yes, ma'am. She. Do you waive a formal reading of the indictment? Yes, ma'am. Do you waive any and all defects in the indictment, including any with respect to your name? Yes, ma'am. When you come with, for all my poor people, right? For all my poor people. When they ask you to read over all that shit and you just trying to get the job or you just trying to get the house, it's your first house. How many people read their contract when they got their first apartment or their first house or their first job? Did anybody read that? For my poor people. I'm not saying for you ones that already been there. For my poor people. When it's our first time, we you need me to sign. See, when you got to understand, when you're talking to poor people and, 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 and it's an opportunity to get out of the situation you in, man, I ain't reading shit. Y'all wave all that. Give me that. Let me go. Let me go. So it's easy for a poor nigga to snitch versus a nigga that may already dead. Okay. I don't know. I may be making sense. I may not be making sense. Have you been arrested on these charges? Are you reading money? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the state is unaware of any outstanding warrants related to these charges. Do you or do you, Mr. Wright, know of any outstanding warrants that are related to these charges? Okay. I do not. Mr. Sledge, has your attorney advised you of the minimum and maximum sentence for each charge that you are pleading guilty to yes, today? Ma yes, ma'am. Do you understand that the minimum sentence for conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act is five years and the maximum is 20 years in prison? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that the sentence for violation of count 30 of this indictment, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, as in OCGA 1611-133, is 15 years in prison? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Do you understand that this is a negotiated plea of guilty? Yes, ma'am. Which means that the state will recommend to the court the following sentence. Yes, ma'am. As to count one, 15 years to serve, on probation subject to the special conditions contained in the plea agreement that I have in my hand that I will show you in just a moment. And on count 30, although you are pleading guilty, sentencing will be withheld until the completion of the initial trial of this case. After the trial of this case, after the initial trial of this case, provided defendant you have complied with the special conditions outlined in sections B, C, D, are y'all paying attention to that? For you niggas that still running with the game. They're going to hold his citizens until the trial is over 
So if he don't cooperate the way that they like, what that means? What that mean? What that mean? If he don't cooperate to their liking, as the trial goes on, then what that mean for him? Man, y'all better pay attention. F and I of section mm. three special conditions of sentence of this plea agreement, the state agrees that the defendant shall be allowed to withdraw she... his guilty plea on count 30 and the state shall agree to no cross count 30. Do you understand that the court... So that means he got to do a good job. Hey, don't, don't the trial start January the 9th or something like that? When does the trial actually start? I think it starts in a couple of days. He got to do a good job, y'all. Does not have to accept that recommendation. And we will read into the record the terms of the plea agreement in a moment. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that the court can sentence you to the maximum on each charge and can run those sentences consecutively or one after the other if the court does not accept that negotiated plea? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. That uh, y'all. Boy, I tell you, she. Do you understand that if you are currently on probation or parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today, but that the state is not recommending either. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that this plea may be used to enhance sentencing on other convictions in this jurisdiction, as well as in other jurisdictions, including in the federal courts? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Do you understand that this is a guilty plea, which is permanently recorded on your criminal history? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that this plea involves your being placed on probation and that if you are placed on probation of any kind, you cannot violate any criminal laws of any governmental unit or any special condition of probation without being subject to revocation for the balance of the sentence. Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you are not allowed to use or possess a firearm while on probation? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that if you are not a United States citizen, a guilty plea will affect your immigration status and will result in deportation, just like a conviction at trial would, and that this is true regardless of any advice given to you by your attorney or anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that if at any time you are sentenced to confinement based on this sentence, Neither the court, your attorney, nor the district attorney's office has anything to do with parole. And that in that circumstance, the Department of Corrections or Board of Pardons and Paroles yes, are the only persons who can address parole and that no one can guarantee parole, no matter what anyone has told you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Do you understand that there may be other adverse or unfavorable consequences as a result of this guilty plea conviction, just as there would be from a conviction following a trial? For example, your guilty plea may affect your right to vote, your right to hold public office, your right to serve on a jury, your right to obtain a passport, your right to receive, possess, or transport a firearm, and your right or ability to obtain employment. Do you understand that these rights may be affected. Mm. Yes, ma'am. Facts, Diddy. Do you Diddy. understand that by that's pleading facts. guilty to a felony? That's what, that's what I'm saying, Diddy. That's what I mean with this, this favoritism we show these celebrities. We show them the favoritism that they can live outside of the world that we live out of. Like, we put them on a pedestal. We celebrate them. We praise them. But when it come down to it, they just like us. When it come to their freedom, when it come to their money, the Kanye West showed us. When it come to his kids, they can all come back down and get us. Now, Kanye West, now he want to help us. Even though I think Kanye West is it's been on the you know, he's been doing some things for for the for the community. But boy, let me tell you, when when shit don't really, you know, 
bother them. They ain't really got no say so. You know, Kyrie Irving shed his mouth and went back to play basketball. You know, like, we have to start seeing the real and stop just, uh, you understand? Like, at some point, we got to start seeing, like, what is real and what is fake. Who is using us? Who is not? Joe Biden. Joe Biden used the black women, and they still over there thinking, this nigga, what? How did Joe Biden pull it out? How did Joe Biden go get a black woman that we ain't seen? She, after she got in there, she said she ain't even black no more. Like, when are we going to start seeing the real versus the fake? If you use, receive, possess, or transport a firearm, or use a firearm in a crime, you will be guilty of another felony, which may, be, which may carry a sentence of 1 to 15 years in prison. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you waive any and all defenses, including any mental health defenses, by entering a plea of guilty? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that if you went to trial, you would have the right to try by jury, the right to see, hear, and confront witnesses called to testify against you, and the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that by pleading guilty, you are giving up the following rights? The right to a trial by jury, the right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself, the right to confront witnesses against you, the right to the assistance of counsel hired by you or to court-appointed counsel if you cannot afford an attorney at a trial of your case, the right to the mm. presumption of innocence, the right to testify on your own behalf and to present other evidence, the right to subpoena witnesses and compel the production of evidence, the right to have the charges against you proven beyond a reasonable doubt, and the right to appeal if convicted of these charges after a trial. Do you understand that you are giving up all of these rights? Yes, ma'am. Mm. I'm well, they put you in the what has been marked what? as States Exhibit 1AS. Do you recognize the document uh, in States Exhibit 1AS? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> And is that your signature on page seven of seven of State's Exhibit 1AS? Yes, ma'am. Now I want to show you something else. Think about what you're seeing right now. A 41-year-old black man. Think about the world we also witness where woman versus man right now. Especially in the black community, but all over the world right now. Think about that. So now, when this man goes to put some order down in his household with the situation that we're living in, say for an example, me and my lady right now. Say me and my lady get into it. My lady can threaten me. Put me in a different position of a man than I am. Makes me come down off of the man role and now be the Little boy role because I'm afraid that she can make a phone call and say, he hit me, he hit me. Like the Javante Davis situation we're going to get on where she lied and then came back to the social media. And where's the, where's the um, apology to Javante Davis that he did nothing to that woman? Where's the apology the same way? But I got to say that story because me and her going to react to that story together. My lady will be doing some reaction with me uh, in the future. We're going to actually probably do some either tonight or tomorrow. But I want y'all to, the Devontae Davis situation, what I'm, what I'm saying is, look at this man right here, 41 years old. You think he's still going to be able to hold that flame in his house as the man when he get ready to try to put his foot down about some things that need to, his foot need to be put down on. And then you got women versus men going on. So this woman still an opportunity to say, you nigga, shut the fuck up while I call the police on you and say you did something to me. What about that video we reacted to where that young lady called the police on her boyfriend because he said her ass looked gross? She called the police, got him locked up, all because he was trying to show her some love. He was like, man, that ass fat. She said... Why are you lying? You know it ain't like that. And he said, well, I'm just trying to, you know, make you happy. If I had to be honest, it looked gross. 
she said she got in her feelings and called the police on them. Y'all go on my YouTube and check it. She called the police because she knew he had some past issues. She said, I called the police and had them jammed up because he said, my ass look gross. This is what I'm saying. You playing with fire. When you live in a life like this, and then the world is trying to create a narrative, man versus woman, y'all better pay attention. Look at all the situation that's going on around us, y'all, where it's man versus woman. It's man versus woman. Y'all better pay attention. It's a lot of it's a lot of going. It's a lot of man versus woman shit going on right now. But we're gonna talk about that tonight, though. We're gonna get on that tonight. He said he better say yes, ma'am, after that. <laughs> you stupid, dog. <laughs> Your Honor, at this time, actually, and Mr. Sledge, have you had an opportunity to review each and every provision within State's Exhibit 1AS? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> As Shit crazy, Nick. On State's Exhibit 1AS. The current charges that you face are count one conspiracy to violate. Wow, my boy said he just went through that this morning. That show y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all gotta see it, man. These people create, once again, y'all know all these stories are not real. When y'all see these celebrities, man versus woman, y'all do know some of these things are uh, put together. They run these campaigns to create a narrative all to us because we follow the narratives of celebrities. This is why I keep my lady, I, 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 brother, my lady can get the fuck away from me if this is what her life is. She's surrounded by these celebrities, but I done steer my lady to the, where she see the real now. My lady won't want, want a family more than anything. So she understand that playing this game right here is real, Detrimental to the family. These narratives are being paid by people that control some other shit. Once again, go do your research. Some of the skits that be going on where y'all see, like for an example, when a dude brought the McDonald's to his baby mother and she did that. Y'all remember? She said. She didn't get paid, so she exposed the, the, the skit that a company paid him to do that. Now, why would a company pay, uh, why would a company pay him to run this kind of skit? Come on, man, y'all better see it, bro. They are trying to run game on us. Cause they something about 2023. Wow, he said he just moved out. Man, yo, shout out to Brody, man. We hope you be safe, dog. Please, man, if you're going through some stuff with your lady, walk away, bro. Walk away, dog. Um, walk away, dog, please. Nah, the dude got paid, but the woman wanted to get paid as well. So it was a skit, though. But a lot of people thought it was real, and a lot of people had some reactions on that. That's what I'm trying to explain to y'all, dog. They running narratives on us. Let me ban this dude right quick. They running narratives on us, y'all. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to Y'all got to pay attention. They are running narratives on us to make us fight each other. They want us in these type of situations. Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act and count 30 possession of a firearm by a convicted felon previously convicted of a felony involved this in the young thug right possession here. of this a young firearm, thug case. OCGA 1611133. The negotiated sentence as outlined in States 1AS is count one, 15 years on probation. I got another story for y'all. Let me show y'all how real it is. Hey, and anybody in here that is, um, Feel some type of way about how we do it over here. We do this for educational purpose. Once again, if you want to watch this trial on your own, bye. We're not telling you. Over here, we're trying to educate brothers and sisters on some real shit. Um, so, man, if you don't like the fact that I paused and try to give examples, then you need this, you know, you can go watch it on Law and Crime Network. You don't have to watch it here. All right, another example, y'all. Real shit just happened. 
my sister back in Mississippi. And this how this how I keep I keep it real with y'all. My sister just attacked my dad a couple days ago. My dad called the police. My sister tripping up. She staying with my dad. You know, she don't got nowhere to stay. So she a little, you know, she be going through her things, whatever in her head. My dad older, you know what I'm saying? My sister, she try to go run his house. She, you know, she coming to stay with him. She trying to run his house. So my dad, she wanted my dad to take her somewhere at like 12 at night. She left her phone over somebody else's house. She, you know, like she, she be in and out of there. My sister, my dad said, he told her, I wait till in the morning. I ain't finna take you nowhere this time of night. It's new year. But New Year, she jumped on my dad or, you know, tried to jump on my dad. My dad called the police. Guess what she was doing in the background? Can anybody guess what she was doing in the background when my dad was calling the police? My dad is 60-something. I think my dad like 62, 63. She probably 30, she probably 37 was coming to stay with my dad. You know what I'm saying? She was saying, my dad, she said, why are you hitting me? Why are you attacking me? Help, help. That's what she did. My dad said, girl, what the hell? The people had to come over there and get her out the house. And when they came over there, guess what? She tried to fight the police officer. This is what I'm telling y'all. It's real right now. If my sister can do that to her own father, what you think? This shit is real. This shit is not a game. My dad called the police. She in the background said, help, help, he attacking me. He attacking me. When they came over there, they knew my daddy was in line because she tried to attack the police. Shit crazy, bro. This shit is not a joke, y'all. People are paying attention to what celebrities do. When, when these narratives catch a flame, they send the narrative down to us and we follow suit. Why do you see our young boys kill us? Because they following the celebrities. So celebrities play out the role and the role come down to us for us to play it out. Are y'all paying attention to what I'm saying? They act out the role and we really go do it. Because we think, they, I mean, this is what they sent us. This is what they sent us down. This is, this is the message that they send down to the little people. And we follow suit. And count 30, sentencing withheld until the completion of the initial trial of this case. After the initial trial of this case, provided defendant has complied with the special conditions outlined Thanks, in section bro. B as in Thanks. boy, C as in Charlie, D as in Delta, F as in Frank, I as in Indigo of section three special conditions of sentence of this plea agreement. The state agrees that defendant shall be allowed to withdraw his guilty plea on count 30 and the state shall agree to null pros count 30. The special conditions of the sentence, as outlined in Section 3, are that defendants shall abide in full by each and all of the terms of this negotiated agreement. Defendants' failure to abide by any term of this agreement shall constitute a violation of the agreement. Defendants shall testify truthfully about all matters relating to this case upon Excellent. which he is questioned at any trial or judicial proceeding stemming from the facts alleged in this indictment. In accordance with testifying truthfully about all matters relating to this case, defendant acknowledges that each and all of the statements contained within the defendant's factual acknowledgments section of this agreement are true. Defendant shall testify truthfully about each statement contained within defendant's factual acknowledgments and any matters related to this case when asked to do so in any proceeding related to the facts alleged in this indictment. Defendant shall possess no guns unless his right to do so is restored. Defendant shall commit no criminal acts. Defendant shall submit to random drug screenings by the Department of Community Supervision and any agency designated by the court in this case. I got you. Should the defendant test positive for any Schedule 1, 2, or 3 drug, defendant shall within 30 days of said positive test undergo drug rehabilitation as designated by the court or the Department of Community Supervision and shall successfully complete said rehabilitation program. Defendant relinquishes any Fifth Amendment right related to any statement contained within defendant's factual acknowledgments contained within this plea agreement. 
Section four, defendant's factual acknowledgments. Have you initialed each and all of the defendant's factual acknowledgments can contained within section four of this document? Yeah, ma'am. And is that initial AS your initial? Yes, ma'am. The factual not look like he about to take his free agreement. As follows. Number one, Young Slime Life, <laughs> a.k.a. Y I was that damn the system looks sound like it don't play. SL is an organization <laughs> made up of three Shit. or more members or associates who share common identifiers that include but are not limited to colors, hand signals, and terminology who have committed crimes intended to increase the notoriety, street credibility, and reputation of YSL. Number two, What's defendant good, has been a member and or associate of YSL since 2012. Number three, while associated with YSL and to support and express loyalty to YSL, defendant and co-defendant Demikion Garlington and Quindaria Zachary appeared in a video with another person, AS, where defendant brandished a weapon used in a drive-by shooting and where on behalf of YSL, defendant threatened to harm a person named Kel, a rival gang member who had begun a relationship with defendant's ex-girlfriend. Number four, on or about April 28, 2015, as reflected in Fulton County Indictment 15SC138994, defendant and fellow YSL associates Demikion Garlington and Quindarius Zachary committed a drive-by shooting using the firearm defendant wielded in the video referenced in part three of this section, targeting family members of a rival gang. Number five. Once again, are you paying attention? Look at the goddamn chances. Look at what they saying this man did. Yet he's about to be free. All because they want another person. So for y'all that's out here committing crimes with the homies. Boy, you better hope you're not the important one. <laughs> You in trouble. Defendant and his fellow YSL associates committed the drive-by shooting referenced in sections three and four Shit. above on behalf of YSL and to increase the notoriety, uh, reputation, and fear of YSL. Shh. Number six. Defendant admitted committing and was convicted of aggravated assault and participation in criminal street gang activity, among other charges, for his participation in the drive-by shooting referenced in sections three, four, and five above. Yo, do you still believe in law and justice? I, I just want to make sure we're not going into 2023 still believing in bullshit. Do we still believe in law and justice? There's no such thing, dog. It's about what they want. Whatever they want is what considered law and justice. Number they'll let your, they'll let a nigga kill your mama, your kids. He can go free for the right reason, for the right situation. Seven, defendant was told by another YSL associate that immediately after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL associates met at the McDonald's on Cleveland Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia, to discuss the murder. Number eight, defendant personally knows that one or more YSL associates committed the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. on behalf of YSL. Number nine, Gee, on Jan January the 10th, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., defendant and other YSL associates gathered at the home of Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug, who gave defendant and other YSL Bingo. associates cash money to lay low. Number 10, defendant has personal knowledge that on January 10th, 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr., YSL Associates traveled to Miami, Florida with co-defendant and YSL founder Jeffrey Williams, a.k.a. Young Thug. Number 11, defendant did not murder Donovan Thomas Jr. and was not a party to the crime. Number 12, defendant did not murder Shamel Drinks and was not a party to the crime. Number 13, defendant cannot truthfully assert that the persons charged in this indictment with the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. are not guilty of the murder and defendant will make no attempt at trial prior to trial or after trial to exonerate the persons charged in this indictment with the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.
Number 14, the gas station wow. at 151 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, is one of multiple locations where YSL associates sell drugs and do not allow other gangs to operate. Number 15, the gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, is another location where YSL associates sell drugs and do not permit other gangs to operate. Number 16, defendant has personal knowledge that he and other members or associates of YSL have either participated in or directly committed at least one of the following crimes in order to increase the notoriety and reputation of YSL. Murder, See. armed robbery, aggravated assault, attempted murder, theft, illegal gun possession, and illegal drug possession and sales. Mr. Did she just say he admitted to murder, shooting, armed robbery, attempted murder, Man, yeah. Yeah, I, I like I said, man, it's just it, if young thug get free, boy goddamn. What did he have to do to pull that off? Mr. Sledge, have you had an opportunity to go over each one of the defendant's factual acknowledgments and make corrections where necessary? Yes. And do you huh? And do you now acknowledge under oath that each of the factual acknowledgments that you have- Hey, 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 just so we all can understand it. There's no way this dude get probation, right? There's no way that this man is about to be released out here with us, right? See, this is what I'm saying. L look at the games they play. They put, even in jail, you got niggas that commit speeding tickets in the same jail with niggas that are killers. And the, the, they won't what, what the fuck, dude? How you gonna put this nigga out here with us? And then think we not supposed to become killers too. Initials in this section are true and correct and accurate yes, to the best of your ability. Yes, ma'am. Parts Man, what of the this fuck? plea agreement, Your Honor, states that defendants' sentencing acknowledgments are as follows. Defendant understands fully that if Bingo, he violates buddy. any provision or any special condition of this plea agreement, the district attorney can and will use the contents of this document and agreement during any judicial proceeding. Defendant understands fully that if he violates any provision or any special condition of this plea agreement, his probation for this sentence may be revoked in its entirety, and the district attorney will recommend that defendants <laughs> serve any remaining portion of this Nigga had a jaywalking ticket, dog, went straight to jail. Sentence in confinement at the Georgia Department of Corrections or prison. Number three, defendant understands fully that any violation of any provision Thanks, or of any special condition of this plea agreement shall result in defendant being sentenced on count 30 of this indictment. And the district attorney will recommend that the defendant serve the maximum sentence allowed by law. Number four, defendant understands fully that if prior to the conclusion of the initial trial of this case, defendant fails or refuses to testify to any fact that he acknowledges in this plea agreement, such failure or refusal nullifies any promise made by the district attorney to null prize count 30 of this indictment. Number five, defendant understands fully that defendant's violation of any provision or of any special condition of this plea agreement prior to the conclusion of the initial trial of this case shall nullify any promise made by the district attorney to null prize count 30 of this indictment and may result why do mental ill kids get their own classroom their own hospital but killers get to hang out with civilians that's strange to me and defendant being and your honor there is a typo that um is in this document, it's uh, the word should be being and it's spelled B-E-G-I-N. I'm going to ask that defendant um, just strike through and initial that word B-E-G-I-N to B-E-I-N-G. That's all it is, he just got a job. They just assigned to him a new job. It's called working with them people, big CI. <laughs> I'm gonna say he gonna be a forever CI. Shit, they gave that nigga a nice job, bruh. And Mr. Sledge, is that your initial of, above the strike through of the word began to change it to being? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
and may result in defendant being sentenced to serve as much as 35 years of confinement in the Georgia Department of Corrections or prison. Number six, defendant understands fully that no promises, agreements, or conditions have been made other than those set forth in this document. Mr. Sledge, is this your, are these your initials on each section under defendant's sentencing acknowledgments? Yes, ma'am. That's a lot of fucking years, dog. Mr. Sledge, do you agree that the following statement is one that you have read, fully understood, and signed your name acknowledging? I, Antonio Sledge, have read and carefully reviewed this agreement. I have reviewed and corrected where necessary for accuracy each statement nah, contained in the. He get that if he break the agreement that they have. If he so if he break their agreement, then he going to jail. It's factual. But right now he get to go home. Acknowledgements, and I acknowledge the truth and accuracy of each and every statement listed therein. I fully understand this agreement, and I've had an opportunity to discuss this agreement and each of its provisions with my attorney, Mr. Derek Wright. No promises other than those contained in this document have been made to me in furtherance of this agreement. I freely, knowingly, and voluntarily enter into this agreement without force, threat, or coercion. Is that the statement that you acknowledged in this agreement? They yeah, really be and saying is that, that though. Statement. They really be saying like we didn't coerce him to say this or we didn't force. Like, stop. Why do they even say that shit, bro? Because we all know that you persuaded a nigga to say what he's saying. You want to go to jail for a long time? Yeah, I really don't. Wait, what you gonna do? You gonna make the choice? You gonna come over here with us or you gonna stay over there? Like, bitch, this 2023, <laughs> you persuade everybody that get down there. You have people to come down now for something else and then you ask them about this over here. Like, stop lying. <laughs> to which you sign your name underneath. Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, the state tenders as evidence. State's Exhibit 1A. What they over here? To go home. No, <laughs> objection. State's 1A S is admitted for purposes of plea. Mr. Sledge, how do you plead to count to the charge I of agree. conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act? as alleged in count one of indictment 22SC-183572. Guilty. And how do you plead to count 30 of this indictment? 22SC-183572, possession of a firearm by a convicted... I wonder what would happen if he mistakenly said uh, not guilty. They probably had to goddamn look at that nigga crazy and shut the whole show down. You want to fuck with us in here? You want to fuck with us in here? Felon previously convicted of a felony involving the this one of the guys that gonna testify against your thug. Guilty. Is this plea? Yeah, I seen that. Guilty plea freely and voluntarily given with the full knowledge of the charges against you. Yeah, ma'am. Do you understand that you may <laughs> have only a limited right to appeal this guilty plea conviction? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand that you have only four years from today for a felony charge and 12 months from today for a misdemeanor charge to file what is known as a habeas corpus petition challenging the voluntariness of this guilty plea? Yes, ma'am. Damn. Boy, I tell you. She. The state will now provide a factual basis for this plea. All right. Go ahead, ma'am. Whenever you're Your ready. Honor, if this case were to go to trial, uh, oh. the state believes that the evidence will prove beyond a reasonable doubt against this defendant that the defendant, together with indicted and unindicted co conspirators in Fulton County, on or between January the 24th, 2013 and May 8th of 2022 did unlawfully conspire to acquire, maintain directly and indirectly an interest in and control of United States money and other personal property through a pattern of racketeering activity. 
Furthermore, defendant did unlawfully conspire to conduct and participate in directly and indirectly um, such enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity. The enterprise, Your Honor. Uh, Yo, them interesting choice of earrings, though, don't y'all think? Uh, as described in this indictment, and as the state expects the evidence will show, um, is called Young Slime Life, also known as YSL. And during the time listed in the indictment, the defendant, along with others, conspired mm. to associate together and with others for the common purpose of illegally obtaining money and property through a pattern of racketeering activity and conducting and participating in this enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity. The objectives of the conspiracy included, but were not limited to, protecting, preserving, and enhancing the reputation, power, and territory <laughs> of the enterprise through acts of racketeering activity, including murder, assault, and threats of violence, preserving, protecting, and enhancing the reputation, power, and territory of the enterprise by the posting of messages, images, videos, and songs demonstrating allegiance to the enterprise and a willingness to engage in violence on its behalf, obtaining money, weapons, and other property through acts of racketeering activity, including robbery, theft, and the unlawful sale and distribution of drugs. Your Honor. YSL is an enterprising consisting of a, is an enterprise consisting of a group of individuals associated uh, in fact. It constitutes an ongoing organization whose associates function as a con, uh, continuing unit for the common purpose of achieving its objectives. YSL is a criminal street gang that started in late 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, their identifiers uh, vary. And they use common identifiers, including colors, clothing, tattoos, and hand signs, as well as I'm still gonna make money identifiers, off. genre. Your Honor, in furtherance of the conspiracy and to affect its objects and purposes, um, this defendant. Uh, committed overt acts which reflect his tacit agreement to participate in the enterprise through a pattern of rac racketeering activity. Those overt acts include but are not limited to um, the defendant's possession of cocaine with the intent to distribute as alleged in uh, number Act 8 of... Bro, what did, what did this nigga do? This nigga no rob, kill, attempted kill, Drugs? What are you? Man, lock this nigga up, man. What are we here for? How do you get a plea? Man, you got niggas in jail for marijuana. This is what I'm talking about. The world we live in is so twisted, bruh. We got niggas in prison right now for selling nickel bags or marijuana. And we got niggas that can rob, steal, kill, aggravated assault, drugs. Man, these boy, I tell you, the game is so cold, man. On November the 29th of the game is so cold. And 13. What we even here for, though? Get <laughs> back Man. Um, the defendant's commission of the aggravated assault as listed in defendant's factual acknowledgement on April the 28th of 2000. And 15. That nigga sat here in jail for child support. <laughs> That's facts. And this nigga get to be home. The defendant's um, Man. commission of Act 45 in Count 1 on April the 28th of 2015. Uh, possession of a firearm by Gee. a convicted. He told felon. more than a little something. The oh. defendant's commission of Act 46 as alleged in Count 1 of the indictment. They probably gave this nigga a banner, bruh. That nigga, bruh, because... Like you said, read the books. For him to be getting a plea deal, this nigga probably wrote a fucking autobiography, dog, on all the shit he did. This might be they. This might be they prime witness right here, dog. What's up, boy? What's up, Elmo? This might be they prime witness because this nigga done did a lot, and for him to get a plea deal, god damn, bro. On April the twenty eighth of two thousand and fifteen, of participation in criminal street gang activity. Facts, born. I'm off a game it up, dog. The defendant's um, posing 
uh, while an associate of YSL for a photo released on social media wearing pants with the letters OTS, standing for only the slime with the caption of OGs with the green snake emoji and green heart emoji on April the 20, on April the 8th of 2021 as alleged in Act 128 of Count 1 of this indictment. Said, do I think he'll last on the street? Yes, gonna steal a lie. Bro, see, this is the thing. This is what I keep telling y'all, old head. These people get a pass. We just believe in this whole not snitching thing. These people been snitching. What rapper haven't snitched? Uh, we don't know about it yet. These people all tell. All of them tell. That's what I keep saying. We got to get away from these niggas, bro. Like, stop believing in this fake shit. One of count one on December 5th, 2021 as alleged. Hey, if any of y'all got sons, I don't have nipple girls. If any of y'all got sons, y'all need to show them all the rappers that been snitching. And maybe they can break their fucking love connection that they have towards these rappers. Y'all need to just go get all the rappers. Dirt already admit, Dirt, bro, Dirt just told a, a month ago, didn't it? A couple weeks ago. Bro, I think all y'all that have sons need to go get all these snitching rappers and show your sons, bro. Look, you see, it's not real. They all tell on each other, look, you don't you see it? <laughs> in uh, count one of this indictment, wherein defendant um, possessed a firearm while previously convicted of a felony involving the use or the possession of a firearm. That's facts. Your Honor, as the defendant acknowledged in States Exhibit 1AS, um, defendant has been associated with uh, YSL um, since 2012 um, and has committed the acts that are contained in this plea agreement um, as well, which also reflect defendant's tacit agreement to participate. Nah, hold on, hold on, bruh. It didn't even be possible to get a plea deal on the shit that we're hearing right now. It shouldn't even be possible, though. How is it even possible? Because you want one person. You saying it's possible for a nigga that did all this to get a deal? Man. In this enterprise through a pattern of racketeering activity. Your Honor, um, the uh, defendant, as I stated earlier, has pled guilty to the commission of acts. This shit so fucking other YSL crazy. YSL associates in furtherance of the gang YSL. Specifically, Your Honor, beginning back in uh, January of 2015, after the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. in Fulton County, um, a series of retaliatory shootings um, between YSL and the um, organization of which Mr. Thomas was a member began to occur. One of the retaliatory shootings is the one that is listed in defendant's factual acknowledgments in State's Exhibit 1AS. Um, Your Honor, as recently as this year, earlier this year, um, hey, facts. They got a bigger the fish to fry. Of yet another um, person whom the organization considered a rival, uh, Mr. Shamel Drinks, took place. I really, and, and it's, I said this a, a, a couple of weeks back. I really think they want Young Thug to be an informant for them. And I think they want Young Thug to get in with the Birdman because you know, you know Thug got to have some on Birdman if he was shooting that little Wayne bus. You don't get a, you don't get to shoot that little Wayne bus without going and talk to the dude that you, you with every day. I, I, I think they want Young Thug to turn and then they want to make their focus at the Birdmans of the world and shit like that turning 2022 into sort of a repeat of 2015. Um, Your Honor, the defendant has um, knowingly, voluntarily, and willingly signed this plea agreement. And as a result of the defendant's um, willingness to be forthcoming and to be truthful and to own responsibility for his actions, um, the state is willing to make the recommendation that I've relayed to the court, and we ask that the court accept this uh, negotiated plea agreement. Um, Your Honor, that is all that 
um, the state has, if the court will permit me one moment, please. Okay. And bruh. That is all that I have, Judge. Um, again, we would just ask that the court um, sentence the defendant um, Damn, to uh, 15 years of probation on count one. As to count two, we would ask that the court withhold sentencing until after the completion of the initial. Yo! So it's just like what she said earlier. He got 15 year probation on one count. And he still got more to go after the trial if he doesn't give them enough of 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 of, of snitching to their liking. God damn, bruh. Trial of his case, and then after the initial trial of his case, provided that the defendant has complied with the special conditions outlined and contained in the plea agreement. Your Honor, the state agrees that the defendant should be allowed to withdraw that guilty plea on count 30, and the state shall agree and will agree to notify us on count 30. Your Honor, further. Mr. Wright, in this case, Mr. Wright, in this case, Your Honor, he did not close that. Yeah, yeah. Judge, um, the case that was referenced that he pled guilty to before for the ag assault is closed. So he's not currently under an active sentence. The issue is going to be is that he's got no sentence on his active count 30. So that would be the bond. I mean, I can. I made bond already. Sentencing on count 30. Man, what the fuck? He won't be released. Initially, yeah. when he was arrested for count 30, uh, he was given a $31,000 bond that he made. So, so you're, that, bond still in that, that bond is still in effect for that, I guess, underlying charge. Man, nigga get a plea deal and they still up there fighting for more. God damn! This shit is crazy! Nigga getting a plea deal and they still up there fighting for more! <laughs> Man, that shit real, boy. This shit is a show for real, for real. I'm In this case, there's no bond set. We don't know if that was the previous indictment. But as of this case, 22 SC 18572, possession of a firearm, no bond. Your Honor, if I may, sure. the state has no objection to the court granting a signature bond as to that count, subject to any restrictions that the court um, feels necessary to place on the defendant. And considering the fact that the defendant has now um, pled guilty to that charge. Oh! Damn! Oh no, dog! These people so cold at this. Man, stay out of these people jail and stay out of their courtroom. They don't let the nigga admit it to all this shit. Now that he pled guilty, they get, man, come on, bruh. Y'all stay out of the people courtroom, bruh. Stay out the goddamn courtroom, bruh. You missed it, bro, because it's, it happened early. You had to be paying attention. You have to fashion it this way. You can only count one and then count three as a bond. That is the only So then y'all ain't been paying attention. Y'all just been here looking. Y'all ain't been paying attention. So. You know all the shit that he was playing, pleading guilty to? They wasn't that. Oh, hold on, let me let me rewind it back for y'all. Y'all ain't been paying attention. Y'all just in here licking, dude. Y'all ain't listening. Y'all better fucking listen. Listen. Y'all ain't listening. Y'all just in here watching this shit. This shit educational purpose, dog. The state has no objection to the court granting a signature bond as to that count subject to any restrictions 
that the court um, feels necessary to place on the defendant and considering the fact that the defendant has now um, pled guilty to that charge. Damn, man. They got him. Look at him. Look at him. This is what they like. These people good. Look at this. Look at this nigga right here. This nigga pasta the stood up, goddamn. to confer with Mr. Wright and to ensure that we... Sure. You got one or several. You got one or several. You just can't do it this way. What? Yes, Your Honor. All right, I'll, I'll our recess. Thank you, Your Honor. Damn! Mr. Wright, may you see? Damn! They ending it right there? Oh, no. Nah. Damn, they ended on that. What? Bro, that's some cold shit what just happened. Man, y'all, please pay attention. Man, what the fuck? Oh, my goodness, boy. All right, we finna actually start the trial. Nigga, we ain't even started the trial. And, and that just was... This nigga gave up all that information and they still found the loophole. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, man, stay out these people courtroom, bruh. Stay out these people courtroom, dog. All right. That low on the bell on the bell.